Electricity powers our world. It fuels our homes, businesses, and industries, keeping modern life running smoothly. But behind every flick of a light switch or charge of a smartphone lies a silent yet essential device, the transformer. Autobots, roll out. Oh, not that kind. This kind. Without transformers, electricity wouldn't be able to travel long distances efficiently or be safely used in our everyday appliances. So, what exactly is a transformer? How does it work? And why is it so important to our electrical grid? In this video, we'll break down the basics of transformers, how they function, their different types, and why they are the unsung heroes of modern energy distribution. Let's break it down, right here, on History of Simple Things. At its core, a transformer is a device that changes the voltage of electricity. It either steps up, increases, or steps down, decreases voltage, to ensure that power is transmitted efficiently and used safely. This is crucial because electricity loses energy when it travels long distances. Without transformers, we wouldn't be able to send power from power plants to cities and homes effectively. The science behind transformers is based on electromagnetic induction, a principle discovered by Michael Faraday in the 19th century. Essentially, when an alternating current, AC, flows through a coil of wire, it creates a changing magnetic field. If another coil is placed near this magnetic field, it induces a voltage in the second coil. By adjusting the number of turns in each coil, we can control whether the voltage increases or decreases. Transformers are everywhere, from the large substations that distribute electricity across cities to the small adapters that charge our phones. While they may seem like simple devices, their role in our electrical infrastructure is massive. How does a transformer work? A basic transformer consists of three main components, primary coil, input coil. This is where the electrical energy first enters. The alternating current, AC, flowing through this coil generates a magnetic field. Core, made of iron or another magnetic material, the core amplifies and directs the magnetic field between the coils. Secondary coil, output coil. The magnetic field from the core induces a new voltage in this coil adjusting the voltage level before sending it to the next stage in the electrical system. The ratio of the number of turns in the primary coil to the number of turns in the secondary coil determines whether the transformer steps up or steps down the voltage. If the secondary coil has more turns than the primary, the voltage increases. This is called a step-up transformer. If the secondary coil has fewer turns, the voltage decreases, creating a step-down transformer. For example, power plants generate electricity at very high voltages, often thousands of volts, to reduce energy loss as it travels long distances. But before this electricity can safely enter our homes, transformers reduce the voltage to the standard 120 or 240 volts we use daily. Transformers can also come in different shapes and sizes, each designed for a specific purpose to help us in our daily life. Here are some of the most common types. Power transformers. These are the massive transformers you see at electrical substations. They handle high voltage and are responsible for transmitting electricity across long distances. Distribution transformers. Found on utility poles or underground, these step down high voltage electricity to a safer level before delivering it to homes and businesses. Isolation transformers. These transformers are used for safety, separating electrical circuits to prevent electric shocks or interference. Instrument transformers. Used in electrical measurement and protection, these help monitor voltage and current levels in power systems. Auto transformers. Unlike traditional transformers with separate coils, 
Auto transformers use a single winding to adjust voltage levels, making them more efficient for certain applications. Each of these transformers plays a unique role in ensuring that electricity flows smoothly, safely, and efficiently from power plants to end users. So why are transformers so important? Without transformers, our modern electrical grid simply wouldn't work. Here's why they are so critical. Efficient power transmission. High voltage electricity loses less energy as it travels through power lines. Transformers allow us to step up the voltage for long distance transmission and step it down for safe usage. Safety and usability. Electrical appliances and devices are designed to operate at specific voltage levels. Transformers make sure that the electricity delivered to homes and businesses matches those requirements. Grid stability and protection. Transformers help regulate and balance power distribution, preventing overloads and blackouts. Industrial and commercial applications. From manufacturing plants to hospitals, transformers ensure that heavy machinery and sensitive equipment receive the right voltage and protection from power fluctuations. Simply put, transformers are the backbone of our electrical system. Without them, power generation, transmission, and distribution would be inefficient, unsafe, and impractical. Without them, our cities would plunge into darkness, our devices would fail, and the modern conveniences we often take for granted would cease to function. Transformers may not be the most glamorous part of our electrical system, but they are undoubtedly one of the most essential. From stepping up voltage for long-distance transmission to stepping it down for safe household use, they quietly do their job, ensuring that electricity flows efficiently across cities and countries. So, the next time you turn on a light, charge your phone, or power up your computer, take a moment to appreciate the invisible work of transformers. They are the unsung heroes of modern electricity, keeping our world connected and powered every single day. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.